Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. What's up, everyone? It's me, Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys are having a good, great day for today. And as the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to jailbreak your PlayStation 4 via with this new exploit host menu that was released as of yesterday. Um, In this exploit uh, host menu, I could tell you from, you know, my standpoint, since I beta tested this um, about like a week ago, and I could say that this is probably one of the best exploit menus out for the PlayStation 4 if you have a jailbroken console. It utilizes a bunch of things such as you know fan control um, a bunch of payloads you can ftp from it it already has embedded gta 5 mod menus you could do backups for your saved games and you know stuff like that for your trophies as well there's also a spoofer and as well as some key things a linux loader just to you know name some stuff off the top of my head but for today i'm going to be showing you guys on how to set this up it's very simple on how to do as well but with that being um out the way for just the introductory i just want to go ahead and get started with the prerequisites and everything i state and any useful links will be in the link in the description down below like i have in all my other videos so as long as you have a modded playstation 4 that's on firmware 5.05 if it's on like 4.05 1.76 or anything other than that just go ahead and upgrade it for this process you can't do this on firmware higher than 5.05 so if you're on 7.0 if you're on 6.0 or anything higher than 5.05 you can't do this since there is no public web could exploit for the playstation 4 um you're gonna need the ps4 war exploit host menu and i'll show you guys on where to get that we're going to be using a website called gba temp and there is a big readme and you know instruction guide on how to do that i'll explain a little bit more in a video as well um you'll also need netcatgui.exe to run the payload.bin i'll show you guys on how to do that in the video as well and you're going to be needing a usb stick either that is formatted to fat32 or xfat i recommend for any process dealing with the playstation 4 just go ahead and invest in a usb that is at least at minimum 32 gigabytes since installing packages or you know pkg files for the ps4 is way larger in size rather than on the ps3 and stuff like that i just want to go ahead and give a special thanks out to lethal 7 74 and any of the you know ps4 development team who may have helped them with this project and just want to give a big shout out to default dmb because i know he probably worked on this as well don't forget if you need any help um to feel free to join my discord for this process but with all that getting out the way we're going to go ahead and get started on the pc side of things Alrighty guys, assuming that you're on the PC just like me at the moment, what we're going to do, I will have this in the link in the description down below. This is the official website for the release page for ps 4 the exploit host menu. And basically, here's just a major guide on if you want to go ahead and read on how to basically install ps 4 r if you want to go ahead and just do it yourself. But there are a multitude of methods on how to install it. So the easiest way you can, you know, as showcased here, you can install it from a USB, which this is the method I'm going to be showing casing on today on this video but you can also install this exploit host on the pc via with a esp device as well as any android device so whether a android tablet or phone you can still install it but the way on how you would download this file you just go ahead and and depending on what um installation process you want to go with just go ahead and install um from via the download links here but right now i'm just going to go back to my desktop right here i already have it installed i will also have both of these programs netcat gui and as well as the usb installation guide um via in the link in the description down below so you don't even have to go through that website it'll just be in the link in the description but once you get um both of these files downloaded onto your desktop what we're going to do is uh, something with winrar or winzip we're just going to go ahead and extract the files here so right click over um this file right now go into extract files go ahead and hit OK. And then you'll get the PS4 version 1.1 or excuse me, 1.0 installer onto your desktop. Now within this installer right here, you'll also get another folder and then it will be included with instructions right here if you want to go ahead and read those. But it's fairly simple on how to do this. So what we need to do as of right now for this process is to go ahead and plug in a USB drive to your PC. So that's what I'm doing here right now. So let me go ahead and plug mines in. 
And then once you have a USB drive plugged into your PC, what we're going to do is take out the PlayStation or PS4 USB file as well as the installer payload bin, which we're going to be using soon via with Netcat GUI. We're going to go ahead and to our USB of choice. So let me go ahead and find my USB. And then via within this USB of choice, what we're going to do is drag and drop this PS4R.USB file in. But before we do that, we're going to verify that this uh, USB is formatted to FAT32 or XFAT. So let's go ahead and right click over our USB drive, go into properties. And as you see here, my file system is already on FAT32. Now, as well for this process, which you want to do let's say if your usb drive if i go back into properties and your thing is on ntfs you want to go ahead and reformat this to xfat or fat32 so what i'm going to do now is if you have any important documents on your usb drive which i have make sure to back them up onto like your desktop or something like that because anytime you need to reformat your usb drive because of the file format system is not compatible like ntfs is not compatible with ps4 that's why we have to go ahead and go along with this and reformat our system. So what I'm going to do now is right click on our USB drive, go into format system, assuming that you already backed up your data. And what you need to do if your thing is on NTFS, just go ahead and format it to XFAT. Make sure your capacity is the highest. Go to allocation unit size, just go to default. Volume label, Um, you could just label your USB anything you want to. I'm just gonna leave mine's blank. And then make sure you have quick format toggled on. Make sure it has a check mark. Go ahead and hit start. And then it'll say warning, erasing all data on this disk will basically format it. Just go ahead and hit okay. I'm not gonna do that since I have important documents, but once you hit okay and once the process is done oh you will get a little notification on windows stating that it's successfully format then you could go back into your usb drive go into properties and your system should be either on fat32 or xfat for this process assuming that you guys did understand that and your usb is now on fat32 all you got to do is take the ps4r.usb file I already had it on this usb so all you got to do is just go ahead and drag it to the root of your usb and then you're basically done for this process now what you need to do is go ahead and safely eject out your um, USB with the PS4R.USB bin. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm ejecting out my disk right now. And now we could take our USB drive that has been transferred with this file to the PlayStation 4. And now we're going to go ahead and get this set up via with Netcat GUI plus with the payload install bin as well. Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow the steps on a PC, what you need to do now on your PlayStation 4 is go ahead and plug in the USB with the actual .USB file on there. And what we need to do is just go ahead and open up our internet browser. You can use any WebKit exploit of your choice. I'm just going to be using Darth Sterney's um, X project, um, basically WebKit that is hosted online. Um, you can use anything like El Azarif's or you can even use the same website for this process. Make sure, of course, you're on 5.05 for this process. But what we're going to do now is just go to the bin loader right here. Make sure if you're using Al Azarus or any other WebKit exploit, they basically have the um, bin loader payload. So once you get your notification on your system that uh, you already have your payload.bin plus with your IP address, you could go ahead and to the PC and then get it set up so we can send over the actual PS4 our payload so it could be in our user guide. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the steps on the PlayStation 4 and now you got the bin loader payload running on the PS4 itself, what we need to do now on the PC is just open up netcatgui.exe, so just double click on that. In this um, file section right here, what we need to do is go ahead and type in our PlayStation 4 IP address, so mine is this number right here of course yours will be different if the webkit exploit is allowing you or needs to have the basically this number to 9023 for the port just go ahead and keep it the same but since i'm using x project i need to use it or basically put it to 9020 once you have your IP import correctly written down in Netcat UI, where it says file or excuse me payload file path just go ahead and double click on this section right here and wherever you have basically your installation.bin file, just go ahead and open it up. So open, and then all we need to do now is just go ahead and inject the payload.bin. 
and if everything is done correctly you should see on your ps4 it will be searching the usb drives and now it's installing ps4r from the usb zero so that's what it's doing now and you should also get an successful install message on your ps4 so once you see that we're going to go ahead and jump onto the ps4 and see if we can run any other homebrew payload bins Alrighty, so since we're back onto the players, or excuse me, PlayStation 4 as showcased here, you can see that I have a bunch of payloads within the actual um, exploit itself. We can also test as well if we hit back on our home button, go into our settings as well, go into user guide, user guide again. We should already see the PS4R um, exploit host within this method as well. So if you ever disconnected your internet, it's already enabled its cache. So basically, anytime you load up the internet web browser, or if you use the user guide, which I use mostly of the time as well, you basically can run any of the payload exploits you want. So as showcased here, it has a multitude of um, basically homebrew files and payloads you could run. Some things that I do want to showcase off the back is backup and dumpers. So if you ever want to basically back up your database and restore it you can as well if you want to go ahead and back up your save data which is very useful as well if you ever are trying to you know mod your save data for your playstation 4 um i recommend doing that or if you of course if you have long playthroughs with such games as like i don't know grand theft auto 5 or god of war you want to go ahead and back up your save data you can also restore backup save data onto your account as well um you could do trophy backup restore and also um restore your trophies as well so if you have a bunch of trophies earned and god forbid your playstation 4 you know crashes out of nowhere or something you could go ahead and restore it back onto your system you could basically um back up your offline cache um you could also do a hdd upgrade backup so basically what it will do is um dump all of the playstation 4s or whatever content you have on your hard drive and then you can restore it on the new hard drive so you basically won't have to download all of your package files homebrew and whatever um you know cheats and mods you may have set up in certain games um avatar dump that's just pretty simple um you probably see in the left hand or excuse me the right hand corner where it says justin at that's you could basically inject a avatar that way um basically they have database backup pkg backups this dump kernel dumper and a lot of cool stuff within here um, i'm just going to go ahead and run through some stuff you can also you know mod your playstation force fan control so if it's you know running a little too hot you could kind of control your fan manually firmware spoofer and i'm probably going to get a bunch of questions in the comment section no this won't get you online it's just to basically spoof your firmware orbis afr save mounted plus ftp method web rte trainer so basically if you're trying to run cheats with the ps4 trainer you can uh ps4 run referee namer there is just you know a ton of tools that this has pup decrypt as well if you're trying to um basically decrypt any places you for update files they also react ps plus there's also linux loader so i may actually try to see if this works once again on my ps4 because i know i have the pro and for some reason linux didn't want to you know run on my system for whatever reason but um if you have a playstation 4 that you're trying to run linux on you can as well gta 5 mod menu so instead of using any other webkit exploits or you know trying to use the netcat gui method to basically transfer over a mod menu to gta 5 you can all from this one menu which is pretty cool and also there's some credits just to showcase you know all of the people who um helped so with all of that um being out the way as well i just want to go ahead and give a special thanks out to all these people uh, just you know leave this video on a good note but yeah this is essentially on how to utilize ps4r on the playstation 4 with that being said i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace